Hello, my name's Katie Rushworth and I'm here in my show garden at Tong to show you one of the areas that I've specifically planted for shade. Now, lots of people have shady areas in the garden, especially those under trees, and they can be quite tricky to plant. So, I want to talk through some of the things that I've put in that have been incredibly successful. You can see it looks really amazing now. This is a Dicentra. It's a favourite of many people. It has these beautiful hanging flowers and it will cope happily planted under the shade of a tree like this. It gives you some nice height too. When it started to die back, it's as simple as cutting it all the way back and it will send up some new green foliage that will look pretty and tidy for the rest of the year. Next up, I've got hellebores. Now these are finished flowering, but they will leave you with a lovely glossy evergreen leaf. This is a lovely variety. So even though it doesn't flower now at this time of year, it flowers in winter time and it leaves you with a nice filler. This foliage is a lovely foil for other plants in front of it. I've also put in this euphorbia. I love the acid lime green color of this. It works fantastically well against pink and plum and even orange. It looks really effective. And this will creep and give really great ground cover, meaning that weeds won't come up, which is always a bonus. Other things that like shade are things like hostas, big lush green leaves. I've got a couple of varieties in here. One that's variegated, which is green and a darker shade of green. And then this one, which is much more lime in colour and it has a much bigger leaf. Last but no means least are ferns. Now, ferns not lots of people use, but I absolutely love them. They're fantastic for texture and I especially love it early in the year, how they unfurl. They look really interesting and exotic. They also soften all in between the planting, meaning it's really effective. There's lots of interest in here, whether it be leaves, texture, flowers. So shade doesn't have to be a nightmare if you plant it correctly. For more information on what I've grown here in my shady border at Tong, pick up a leaflet in store or go online to tonggardencentre.co.uk.